Hi Nancy, uh, it's currently 5.58 in the morning and uh, I didn't have time to make a recording and this weekend I almost lost my voice because I was a bit sick and uh, so I had to really rest, um, you know, anyway. So it's not like I'm completely rested, but it's better than before. The sound connection is uh, the French news in English since 2002. Uh, right now, they're talking about the third coronavirus fatality in France, meaning the third death. Those are mostly older people, okay? So a woman in her 80s has become the third person in France to die of coronavirus. The woman was from crépy en valois it's a small town, the same town as the second victim, a 60-year-old teacher who died in fe on February 26th, okay? So, France may find it difficult to escape the epidemic stage of coronavirus, COVID-19, which would see it freely circulating across the country, the government spokesman, spokesperson has warned. Okay, so, there is what we call a propaganda. The propaganda is like to spread an idea uh, throughout the country. Propaganda is used in politics, in marketing, uh, especially in politics, to manipulate people's ideas. So they are, you know, they are trying to simplify political ideas like uh, you are either liberal or republican, okay? And propaganda is mostly used by psychologists, uh, neuroscientists, etc. So anyway, right now there is seems this kind of propaganda in America concerning the epidemic, uh, the coronavirus, in Europe as well. I have found, and you're going to keep it to yourself, you may get in trouble if you talk about that, I have found two things. So, Monday morning, at 3.30 a.m. in the morning, I gave a class to Isabella, who lives in Beijing. So, she is, um, she's like 11, 11 years old, and uh, she told me, so I asked her, are you going back to school? And she said, no, uh, school is still closed. Are you going out? No, I'm staying home. My father is the only one to go out every three days or so. So it's still going on. And it's still, I'm going to see her tomorrow morning. I'll see if it's, anything has changed. I doubt it. So it's still like that. Okay. I'm not really reading the news anymore because I think it's just a bunch of um, lies. And just to make us uh, a, a bit paranoid to react. But at the same time, there is something very interesting, that's the second point that I wanted to talk about, uh, very briefly. It's about the virus itself. The, this laboratory, you know, I told you that um, that was a, a P4 level. That means they are protected by the government. They can work on a lot of viruses. They, in China, they had the coronavirus since 2015. It was not a virus that human could could uh, catch, in a sense. It was only on animals, like animals to animals. And uh, that was from the bats. That's a virus you could find from bats, because bats, uh, you know, they carry a lot of viruses. So anyway, they had a form of coronavirus since 2015. This laboratory in Wuhan, was built in 2018. This laboratory was allowed by the government, the Chinese government, to, um, to be modified, manipulated, in order for this coronavirus to affect human beings. Before that, this virus couldn't, couldn't, uh, human beings couldn't catch this virus, okay? So you, you think whatever you want, that has been, uh, I'm going to check on this stuff, I'm going to find you the, the sources, but there are some scientific articles talking about it, the release of this new virus, uh, not in the mainstream media, in the scientific community. Okay. Anyway, enough about it. Now we can go back to all clear, but it's still interesting to talk about that. I mean, to think about that. So all clear, let me just increase the page. We did the, the chapter five. I'm going to see if I can. Okay, I want to just do that. Oh, it's going to be easier. So chapter five, it's all about, you know, ah, if I go 
down below is not gonna work. So we talked about, you know, let me just go back in time. That's gonna be interesting to talk about. Um, let me see, yeah. So in the previous videos, I summarized all the, um, you know, the, the different expressions, okay? And uh, you must be out of your mind. You are going out of your mind. Two different expressions. You must be, it's already it's done. You are out of your mind. You are going out of your mind. It's in the process of being out of your mind. Okay. So we went through these different exercises. Okay. It's not difficult. Okay. And uh, we're going to have to, let's see if we can do that. Read the paragraphs. So I'm going to prepare for next time. Okay. Because previous videos were really repetitive. So read the paragraphs, then write sentences about what you read. In each sentence, use at least one expression from the box. Bonded words and phrases in the story represent where expressions can go. Underline the expression that you use. Notice that when Sophie is talking, is talking about right now, she's using the present continuous tense with action verbs. And she's uses, she uses the present tense with non-action verbs. When she's talking about the past, she uses a past tense. When you write your sentences with expressions, pay special attention to verb tenses. Also remember to pay attention to other grammar details, prepositions, articles, singular and plural nouns. Hi, I'm Sophie. Do you want to know wh what we are doing? Well, we are college students and we are volunteering at an elementary school. We're working hard collecting earthquake supplies. We decided that I should be the boss because I'm the oldest. That's fine with me because I kind of like telling everyone what to do. Anyway, you can see that this is a lot of work, but that's okay. Three of us are doing the work, so we'll probably be finished in a day or two. When we started, we had no idea about what supplies to get, but we looked on the internet and found a website with a lot of information about what to do before, during and after an earthquake. Yesterday, two of us went shopping for canned food, flashlights, batteries, blankets, and other things at a discount store. It was so crowded. It made me crazy. It made me crazy. It drove me crazy. I was going out of my mind because I don't have a lot of free time. But we got almost everything we needed. You're probably thinking that what we're doing is a lot of work. And it is. And it is. But we're happy to do it. Everyone wants the kids to be safe. And do you think the teachers and parents are happy to have our help? Well, they definitely are. Okay. So we are in charge. We are working hard collecting. We can also say we are in charge of um you know collecting earthquake supplies or we're on charge of earthquake supplies should be the boss to be responsible to be in charge as well should be in charge because i'm the oldest um yeah uh anyway you can see it looks like you can see that it's a lot of work uh it's yeah, when we need to use this kind of expression, they sure are. It's not really possible here. So chances are, chances are, will be finished in a day or two. Uh, when we started, we were in the dark about what supplies to get. But we got online. Uh... I was going out of my mind, uh, thinking that what we are working on is a lot of work, and well, they sure are. Okay, so we can replace a lot of stuff, you know, we have a lot of synonyms, which is nice. And so there are also, also some questions, the thing is, is all super easy. Uh, do you use internet? Yes. 
how often do you get on night well work all day long so uh pretty much all day how often do you check your email actually not that often not that often you know i'm more like a text uh, person but at the same time i have so many people asking me correcting and uh, sometimes i stay away from that because uh, i would just keep working all day long non-stop what kinds of websites do you like to visit news i like the news uh do you go to sites that are in your native language or in english or both both mostly in english uh do you have any project that you're working on now yes uh, it's like a master in psychology and uh, if yes okay what are you planning to work on in the future well we'll see what are you going to do when this program or semester school year is over celebrate uh okay so that is not always like something we're interested in okay so Let's just keep these guys. Okay. Okay. Lesson five. Work early, mom. Thanks for the invitation, honey. But I have to take a rain check. But mom, it's your birthday. I know, I know. But I'm swamped with work. It won't make a difference if we go next week. Yes, it will. It won't be your birthday next week. I want to take you out to dinner on your birthday. Remember this, I want to take you out to dinner, not after. Well, you know, I'd love to take you up on your invitation, to take you up on, to take you up on your invitation. But, but what? Okay, I'll work late tonight and tomorrow night and get this project over with. And that way I'll be free Thursday night. Oh, thanks mom. Well, I didn't know it would be so hard to talk you into going out and celebrating well you know me i have so much responsibility now that i have this new position i know you're really busy but you should make time to celebrate after all your birthday comes only once a year right right so tell me what do you want to eat i have two special places in mind but i keep going back and forth i'll decide tomorrow i make a reservation it's going to be a surprise well, now, I'm really looking forward to, the, to Thursday. And there's going to be a one more surprise, but I'm not going to tell you till we're through with dinner. Another surprise, Pat, tell me now, are you really going to make me wait? So Rosemary has a new job. She has a new responsibility. Pat is going to pay for dinner. Yes, Rosemary doesn't want to go out to dinner. But yeah, because she's busy, she wants to go next week. Pat has invited those relatives to the dinner. No, nope. Pat and her mother have a good relationship. Yep. And the first expression is take a rain check to get a chance to accept an invitation at a future time. Can you come over for dinner tonight? I'm sorry, I can't. I have class. I have a class. Can I take a rain check? Didn't they invite him to go swimming? Uh-huh. But it, he has a cold, so he had to take a rain check. Contrast, give somebody a rent check, ask for a rent check. Can you come over for dinner tonight? I'm sorry, I can't. Can you give me a rent check for next week? They invited us for dinner tonight, but I asked for a rent check because I'm tired. Okay. So this is to be swamped. This is very common as well. Okay. So anyway, we're on page 79 and I'll see you in a few hours. Okay. And uh, take care.